All right, um, this video is going to talk about some basic concepts and definitions for our unit on, on sound. And the first idea that we need to cover is that sound is created by vibrations. Vibrations. And for vibrations to occur, we need something called a medium. A medium. And all a medium is... Um, is a material that the vibrations or the sound can travel through. So basically a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And so if you recall from previous science knowledge, hopefully, solids are made up of small particles tightly packed together. Kind of like this. And we'll stop about there. And then, all right, this is a solid. And then a liquid is made up of particles that are more spread apart. And then, of course, a gas is made up of particles that are very, very spread apart. Okay? Now, sound waves travel from particle to particle to particle, uh, or molecule to molecule to molecule, however you, however you want to think of it. So... If we have these molecules spread out and this molecule starts to vibrate and starts to trans have that sound energy, it's going to travel and transfer some of that energy to that molecule and then travel to that one and then travel to that one and then so on down the line. And that's how sound travels. So you can see, let's use a different color, so you can see that if the particles are very, very close together, like in a solid. Once this one starts moving, it will almost immediately cause the next one to start moving, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So sound travels extremely fast through a solid because the particles are so close together. So once um, one particle starts to move, that energy can be trans transferred to the next particle very quickly, very easily. Um, for a liquid, they're a little bit further apart, and so it takes longer for that energy to transfer from one particle to the next. And then for a gas, they're extremely far apart, so it takes even longer for the energy from a sound wave to travel from one particle to the next particle in a gas. So even though we are very used to, you know, sound traveling through the air, um, and we consider that very fast, and it is, it does travel very fast, it's actually slower than if the sound were traveling through a liquid or even through a solid. So if we were to rank um, the speed of sound through different, again, different mediums, different material that sound can travel through, um, a solid would be the fastest. A liquid would be in second place, and actually a gas would fall to third place, all right? But again, still very, very fast. And again, um, sound waves are vibrations, and the material that the waves pass through called a medium. All right, now, um, I want to go and show you a little bit of am animation about this. All right, so here you see a tuning fork. And when I start the animation, it'll be struck. And you can see the vibrations flowing from that tuning fork. And as a tuning fork moves back and forth, it vibrates and causes the, the air matter around it to also um, vibrate and move. And you can see that there are areas of compression where the vibrations are very close, and then areas of what's called rarefaction or the spreading out of. Rarefaction actually means um, area of lower pressure. So you can, it, then that kind of makes sense because uh, the material that's all packed together will have an, have an area of higher pressure and when the material is spread apart it will have a, an area of lower pressure. And if you don't understand that then you know we can talk about um, the reasons for high and low pressure at another another day, another point in class. So Again, to see this animation live again, you can see how when it expands out, 
when the tuning fork is pushing out, it's um, causing pressure waves and it's making this compression area. And then when it's pulling back in, then it spreads out the particles and it creates this, um, this rarefaction area. All right, so let's go back. Hold on. All right, so to review real quickly, we have um, sound made up of vibrations vibrations and it has to travel through a medium which is basically a solid a liquid or a gas and if there is no medium in other words if it's a vacuum and you're um, maybe out in space where there's really very little material then sound really has no, no way to travel so if in a vacuum sound cannot travel and then the sound waves are divided into two pieces um, two areas one area of compression compression and then an area of rare faction rare faction and um, this is when this is when it's all um, pressed together and this is where the vibrations are kind of spread apart um, where the particles are spread apart and if we were to draw a sine wave like this to represent a wave our sound wave and we'll have it like this. Then this part would be the compressions. And this part would be the rarefaction. All right, these, these peaks here, let me use a different. These peaks of the wave are called crests. And this bottom peak is called a trough. I think I spelled that right, a trough. Okay, so we've got a lot of terminology. Um, oh my gosh, already seven minutes. Didn't mean for it to be that long. Um, so a lot of basic, good in, basic information. It's made of vibrations. It needs a medium. It has two parts, the compression and the refraction on a sine wave, this is called. Um, the top part is called a crest, and the bottom part is a trough. All right, thanks for watching.